friends this is Raquel with paints and glitter and welcome to my channel for this month I want to share with you another fun design team project I made using items from Renee Bouquets and Tonic Studios dies I wanted to make something ultra lush as I would be working with the glass wing queen bees from Renee Bouquets and as we all know there's only one queen in the hive and for this queen a beautiful handbag and sketchbook are essential I'm going to start here this is the hexagon shaped handbag that I made I covered it with a beautiful handmade flower bouquet and each flower is sprinkled with gaudy girl pink chunky German glitter glass as well as light pink micro beads and moonstones from Renea Bouquets. I also use beautiful board hexagon elements laser cut chipboard here. I did emboss these in gold and add moonstones and gems to uh, make that have a nice glimmer. I've used Tonic Studios stamped images here and they are hand colored roses so I did use my Nuvo markers for that and underneath is a piece of wide ivory floral lace just to give that a really nice beautiful landing for any bee. <laughs> Along the side of the handbag, I wanted to ensure to add a handle. So I crafted one out of gold cord and attached it to the bag with Tonic Studio die cuts that I layered with gold and black cardstock. Small black sequins top off the faux clasps. The base is also dry embossed in a honeycomb pattern and topped with cascading hearts created with Nuvo Expanding Mousse and Finnebear Golden Nugget Effect Paste. The entire thing is also sprayed in gold. Here you can see the queen bee front and center. She tops a piece of beautiful board lace stackable honey bee pattern that has been altered with Finnebear Golden Nugget Effect Paste and sprinkled with pale pink micro beads. It all rests on the hexagon embossed front of the handbag and this opens just like so. The inside is also nicely finished to match and here is where you can fit the beautiful sketchbook that I've made to go with this project. Let's take a closer look at this queen bee. This is a glass wing queen bee from Renea Bouquets. Isn't that so amazing? I just love the detail on that. So moving on to the sketchbook. It fits comfortably inside of the handbag, but it's also made to fit the theme very nicely. On the cover, you're going to see another grouping here. Only this time I use the beautiful board medium honeybee chipboard. To make it cohesive, I also colored it using my Nuvo alcohol markers and Nuvo gold marker. There you see the glimmer here. And there. This decorative piece is also sprinkled with gaudy girl pink glitter and moonstones and they all rest on a bed of honeycomb chipboard pieces topped with vellum honeycombs and the lovely red roses. The phrase inspire and all of the pages in the sketchbook were cut using Tonic Studios dies. I've included mixed media papers as well as sketch papers just to make this a fun little notebook that I can use to jot down ideas or drawings. On this page, I recycled a piece of clear packaging and created a page by embossing it in a honeycomb pattern. Using a lovely stamp phrase shared by a friend, I adorned the page by framing it out with more vellum pieces as well as the hand-colored roses and yet another gorgeous glass wing queen bee. Never forgetting the words that inspire me to create, I incorporated some scripture verses on key pages in the sketchbook. Here I adorned the page with a piece of beautiful board, large stackable honeybee pattern, only this time I cut it in half to fit my page, added black embossing powder to make it shine, and sprinkled it with small moonstones. The verse reads, How sweet are thy words, unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Psalm 119, 103. I thought that was very fitting to go along with the digital papers that I selected for this sketchbook. 
Here's another lovely page and the rest of that beautiful board, large stackable honeybee pattern. I heat embossed it as well in black. And on this page, I just use glossy accents to make the flowers and the bees stand out. I left it as is because I love the pattern so much that I didn't want to cover it. On this page, I did the same, only here I embossed the honeycomb pattern, beautiful board in gold, added moonstones and gems from my stash, and added a beautiful proverb. I really love how you can alter these items to make them suitable for any project that you're working on. For the last page in the sketchbook, I decided to add a pocket. I dry embossed and stenciled the paper, then added photo corners as a decorative element. To finish it, I added a piece of applique given to me by a sweet crafty friend. I altered it by adding gaudy girl pink glitter, pearls, and a Renee Bouquet Queen Bee clock charm to top it all off. Here I can just fit some little tags where I can either add pictures or sentiments to the sketchbook. This concludes my project share. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have and I encourage you to use the links below in the description box of this video for ease of use so that you can find the items that you would like to use. And don't forget the May coupon code. It'll be listed down below as well with all of the details with that. I thank you so much for stopping by and as always I hope that you can be inspired and be blessed. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.